Okay, now we're inside the house, and there's a general procedure that we follow for every project that we go to. The first one is, where are we going to locate the supply house? That's the first thing that we're going to get an idea of. This is a good time for you to check with the homeowner to see what's acceptable to them. Now again, the heart of Unico is aspiration, which means we draw in and we mix the air. So it's not nearly as critical with the Unico outlet as it is with the conventional system. The only two things we really want to be careful of when we place the outlet is that A, it has at least three feet unobstructed, and B, it's not in a traffic pattern. It's not going to cause someone or something to move. Then the next step will be installing the supply tubing itself. Then we want to mount the air handler. We want to put the air handler in up on the second floor. Again, that space that we have between the second floor and the attic. We want to connect up the return air. We're going to connect the return air to a return air box with our return air duct. We're going to uh, connect the electrical power. We're going to mount the I-Series outdoor unit and connect the communication wire, electrical wire, drain, etc. Connect the refrigerant lines. And then finally, our startup procedure will take us through the Bulletin 30-121CL. That's the blue checklist that comes with every I-Series unit. We're also going to do the commissioning form, Bulletin 30-103, that will take us to how much airflow we're delivering at each one of the outlets. And at the end of the day, we're going to run our computer to generate a .zip file that we will send to customer service. So both you, the contractor, and Unico will have a record of how the system was operating. So first step that we're going to do here is take a look and see where we're going to put the outlets. When we follow upstairs, when we go upstairs, we're going to take a look a little bit more closely at where we put the air handler. To prepare for the air handler, we are putting down some 2x4s so that that will support the weight of the air handler and the weight of the installers.